When the British Royal Air Force was just beginning, two twin flyboys sought to soar above and defend the skies. But their first flight was quite a disaster, and they continued to crash. And crash, and crash, and of course, crash. Could it be possible that God would now use their special talents in the remotest place on Earth? Journey with us now to their island getaway to see what has become of the long-lost Banzai brothers and see the wonders that God can do. Hello! Hello, kitties! Hello, everybody! Colonel Banzai here. Uh, Chauncey flew up to the island of Togo to pick up the mail for us, and he should be back any moment now. That sounds, that sounds like him now. <laughs> <laughs> Tally-ho, children, I made it! Don't worry about me, fortunately for me, I landed on my head. Chauncey, how are you, old boy? Algie! 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 Hi. Oh, hello, dear brother. Uh, did you bring the mail back from Togo? Oh, yes, I do have mail, okay. but not just any... Hold that for me. Oh, not you. just any mail. I hold in my hand a letter from our own dear sweet mother, Mumsy. Oh. Well, what does it say? I don't know. Uh, what does it say? I haven't read it. Oh, well, for heaven's sake, open the letter! Oh, yes, of course! Oh. <laughs> oh, it says, Dear Algernon and Chauncey. Oh, that's us! I think you're right. <laughs> dear Algernon and Chauncey, I miss my sweet little monkey toes and boo-boo kitty. Uh, Chauncey, not in front of the children. <laughs> right you are, monkey toes. Um, I miss you both so much that I have decided to fly down for a visit. Mumsy's coming to visit us! Oh, hooray! <laughs> I've told all of my friends and neighbors here in England about the fine work my two boys are doing distributing God's gifts to missionaries all over the world. Oh, I, I think she means us. Well, we are her only children. Oh, then she must mean us. I think you're right, old chum. <laughs> Our friends gathered many gifts and supplies to help your ministry. I shall bring them with me so that you may distribute them to others who need them. See you next time. Love and kippers, Mumsy. Chauncey. Mm? Mumsy's coming. Mumsy's coming. Mumsy's coming. Mumsy's coming. Mumsy's coming. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, oh dear. I must get everything perfect and ready for Mumsy. I know. I will fly to China to pick out her favorite tea. Oh, good thinking, Chauncey. <laughs> oh, oh, I say, dear boy. Mm -hmm. Might I borrow your aeroplane? I seem to have crashed mine. Oh, of course, dear brother. Oh. Fly safely. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Don't be silly, old boy. Safety is my middle name. Oh. Ta-ta, monkey toes. <laughs> Au revoir, boo-boo kitty. <laughs> oh, kids, Mumsy's coming. I am so excited. Oh, it's been so long since we've seen her, and I've missed her so much. Oh, she used to make the most delicious cookies. And when we crashed our aeroplane, she would kiss our boo-boos. Oh, oh Mumsy's make everything better, don't they? Don't you agree? Algie! Oh, one time Algie! I... Algie! Algy! 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 What? Hi. Oh, hello, Peppa. Oh, did you hear the news? Uh, let me guess. Your mom's coming and giving you stuff to distribute. Oh, uh, how did you know? Are you kidding? You and your brother are so loud, how could I possibly miss it? But I do have a question. Yes. What is uh, all this talk about distributing? Oh, well, to distribute means to divide things up and share them with others. Um... Mm -hmm. Have you looked around? You live in a grass hut on a deserted jungle island. If I were you, I'd be holding on every little thing I got. Oh, well, that's how some people felt. But we want to be more like Jesus. Jesus loved to distribute. There's that word again. Yes, distribute. Uh, Jesus loved to share things with others. Like the time you fed 5,000 people. Jesus fed 5,000 people? Mm -hmm. Holy guacamole. What did he do? Take them all to McDonald's? Oh, heavens no, Peppa. There were no McDonald's in the Bible. Uh, the disciples found someone to share their food. Uh, let's get the Bible now and I'll show you. All right. Here you go. I believe in miracles. All right, here we are. Okay, now listen to what the disciple Andrew said. He said, 
Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish, but how far will they go among so many? Wait a minute. Five pieces of bread and two lousy fish? That mm -hmm. wouldn't even fill my belly. There's no way Jesus could fill, feed 5,000 people with that. Yes, well, that's what the disciples thought. But raise your hands if you think Jesus can do a miracle. Yes, of course he can. Yes, oh, right here it says, Jesus thanked God and distributed the boys bread and fish. And when everyone had had enough to eat, Jesus told the disciples to gather the pieces that were left over. Leftovers? Ha! Fat chance. <laughs> How could there possibly be any? How much could be left over? <laughs> Only enough to fill 12 baskets. What? <laughs> 12 baskets? But, but there were only five pieces of bread and two fish to begin with. Yes. I call that impossible. Oh, well, you know what I call that. Mm. A miracle! A miracle! A miracle! A miracle! <laughs> what? I get it. Mm -hmm. When you give the way Jesus gives, he can bless more people than you can possibly imagine. Yes, that's called being distributed. And that's what the church is all about. We want to spread the word of God and share the church all over the world. Ha! Well, count me in, monkey toes. <laughs> I ain't got much, but I'll give what I got. Oh, well, Peppa, you're learning what these kids already know. Oh, what's that? Let's all say it together. Ready? Pinky's out. It's, it's incredible, incredible, but true. What the God, God of wonders, wonders can do. Can do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ta ta, kitties, and come back next week and meet Mumsy. See you Bye -bye. later. Bye-bye.